Well, you had a new wrinkle, too. A new uniform for the road with a block M on the sleeve. I love the block M. Yeah. I it, love it. It looks great. Here you are, uh, scoreless, 10 minutes into the game, or rather, five minutes into the game. The screen pass passes to the flats really worked well. Jim, I think uh, we completed 19 passes to our backs uh, on Saturday, and I think that's uh, something that uh, helps our offense because our backs get the chance to run the ball in daylight. You get it down in there tight, but you can't score, so you got to go to the field goal. Well, Craig Baker had a good day for us, uh, very consistent uh, in the field goal kicking department. Three to nothing at this point. Now, this is kind of scary at this point. Their crowd's getting into it a little bit, and they come up with a pretty good drive here. Well, Jim, that's the other thing. Uh, Bloomington can be a very noisy place. It was homecoming, and uh, at this point, the crowd was in the game. Uh, we missed a couple of tackles there, but Tommy Hendricks uh, played a very good uh, ball game today, made some big hits. He knocked them out of bounds there. And here's a little screen pass that they get out on you, and Hendricks again makes the play. Yeah, they got outside. Uh, we lost contain, and... Uh, uh, at this point, uh, they're driving, and uh, we're a little bit concerned here. And a big play here. Fumble recovery by your guys, and they would have tied it up probably with a field goal because they were in field goal range. So midway through the first half, you hold on to that 3 to nothing lead. Well, Jim, we had an unforced error there, and, uh, and of course, uh, you're not going to get those uh, very often. How about the saver, Jason Vincent, again. Second time he's pulled the punt to... Uh, out of nowhere to make something happen with Well, it. we've got to do a better job of getting our snaps down. Uh, a week ago, we were very good, but uh, we did have a bad one on Saturday. Another defensive, they were hitting you with the flats, but your defense kind of shut them down. And at this point, the game started to turn your way. Jim, I thought the turf would be an advantage for us. Our speed and quickness, uh, I think it helped us. And I think uh, that's exactly what happened in this game as it, won, as it went on. Uh, our quickness became a dominating factor. And here again, uh, they come with a blitz and you go to the flats for a big gainer. Well, Greasy uh, made a lot of good decisions again and uh, dumped the ball to uh, our receivers and a lot of times to the backs. He's done an excellent job of running this offense. Move into the second quarter. The young freshman, Anthony Thomas, gets some yardage inside. And that's a trap play. Uh, you, they've been stopping the run pretty well. And then you started to go on the ground against them. Well, Jim, uh, they are stacked. Their defense is designed to uh, stop the run inside and force you outside. And uh, we made some good adjustments. Uh, they had a good game plan early, and, and we began to run away from the motion, and it opened up some in our running game. That touchdown by Chris Howard puts you up 10 to nothing. Then the defense continues to play. Big pressure here on Rodgers. I think uh, Rob, uh, this is about Joaquin Fussell came, uh, came up with a big sack. Our defense pressured uh, their passer all day long. Then, again, you go back to the short side of the field. Clarence Williams, a big play. Well, Jim, uh, we didn't, if you look at the statistics, uh, we didn't have anybody rush for a lot of yards, but uh, because we did, uh, we were able to play a lot of guys today. You did get a lot of guys out there, and here's a touchdown. Again, Greasy's got him off sides, and how he sticks this pass in there, and then a great run after the catch by Streets. Well, the, the safety went for the interception there and missed it, and Brian uh, has done a good job with the cadence, which, uh, which helps our uh, Linemen, as you know, when they don't, when they know when the snap count is, it makes it a lot easier to rush a passer. Now here's a fourth and one play. We thought he'd gotten it, but actually he fumbled that ball as they went for it in fourth down from their own territory. Greg gave you great field position, and this is what happened to him. Well, Jim uh, Ray Jackson uh, was flanked out as a receiver and did a good job block blocking on their cornerback and. Uh, Anthony uh, uh, ran a well-blocked play into the end zone. At that point, 24-0. Then they turn it over in their own territory, and the route really is on. Well, Jim, I thought the fourth down uh, stop, and then, of course, uh, the turnover here really uh, blew the game open, and Patrick McCall got a chance to score uh, his first touchdown in Michigan. As we head to the third quarter highlights here, uh, you've got the first unit in there. Great play here by Greasy to Woodson. We had uh, misconnected on that pass, uh, the same pass earlier in the game, uh, Jim, and we wanted to uh, let Charles uh, catch a ball or two. And uh, so, But after that, we got him out of the game. And here's another screen. Did a nice job by Howard. And the drive stalls, but, you know, you control the clock, and you kick a field goal and put 34 up. Well, Jim, at this point, uh, you know, we're four scores uh, up, uh, and, uh, you know, we, we have an opportunity to play a lot of young players and guys that don't get a chance to play as much, and that's what we did. 
Here, Dadrian Taylor makes an interception. The defense continues to play well. Anytime you shut anybody out, it's a it's a great opportunity. And here's some of the young kids, Tom Brady in at quarterback. Well, I was very pleased with the way Tom uh, handled the offense, uh, made a very good throw there. And Kevin Bryant made an excellent catch. Kevin has uh, worked hard, done a great job on our special teams, and is coming on as a receiver. And your freshman running back, Anthony Thomas, almost broke that. Well, J Jim, there's some good blocking in there. and. Uh, you know, Chris Zeman, the thing I'm proud about Chris is, is he got better every week and uh, he did not have a penalty on Saturday. He's had a couple of motion penalties. Uh, his concentration and execution were excellent. 131 left to go in the third and it's 37 to nothing. Another key to the game. They had poor field position and Jay Feely is one of the reasons by seven touchbacks on kickoff. Jim, in the Notre Dame game and again on Saturday, Jay Feely did an outstanding job kicking the ball out of the end zone and now you're taking over on the uh, the 20-yard line, which is a great field position for your defense. And there, one of your youngsters, Peterson, makes a tackle and a catch for a loss of two. And then here you are with youngsters making sacks. Well, Eric Wilson got in there, and uh, James Whitley and uh, uh, William Peterson got to play a substantial amount in the second half. And here you go again, Brady, but he goes to a young back, Patrick McCall. Threw the ball on Tom, threw the ball on the money there, and Patrick got us a first down. Coming back. Aaron uh, Wright got a chance to play. Right, and here's Marcus Jason. Marcus Knight made a nice catch. Here's uh, Jason Kapsner in a quarterback. Jason did an excellent job of running the football team. Uh, uh, his, his first time in uh, earlier in the season, um, I think he made uh, real good improvement. Ray Jackson with the carry here. This guy is, is getting some quality playing time. Jim, he's, Ray's become a real factor on our special teams and is going to be one a very good football player. And how about Tate Shansky? Got him in there again, and Tate <laughs> did a great job again. He didn't find the end zone this time, but he played well. 37-0 the final. The reason why we did the screens and stuff because we felt they was effective, so we just kept going, just keep doing them, keep doing them. Until they stopped and they couldn't stop them, so we just kept doing them. Basically, we stuck to our game plan pretty much, and we didn't really change up much. I mean, we just came out and stuck it to them right away. You know, we're not going to let up. You know? It started in practice, you know, and then it, it gets contagious. Once you see one person get to the ball, you know, you want to get to the ball, and then eventually it's going to be 11 people to the ball just fighting and doing whatever it takes.